well, I took a moment away and decided this would be a great moment to come back and try to put the same little head of a cow into this other piece of scrap here. And I will say it's turning out kind of diagonally. As for the first one I carved out, went upstairs, showed it to my mother. She kind of said something like, she can see it was, looked like the head of a cow, but thought on the other hand it kind of look, would look like a fish to some people. I told her that I would think of a fish as kind of having an extra fin in its tail, not just one. Like, it would almost look like that piece of carving has, but I say that we've worked about this and kind of made our way about this and this is just some kind of work that I do that I say it's gonna try to have a little ways make its ways to us and see how this will come out a little better when we all get done with just the little things we have in life that make things the way they're going to be for all time. I say is for this, you know, is just a little work that has a way of showing up and showing through. And I say that this is just kind of the thing that the things are just meant to come out to be and then come down where we're about to finish up down to the last little bit of this work and oh I say make things so much shinier and better I tell y'all that one thing I mentioned to her a while ago was about the little interesting shape saying don't know if many people would be interested in that or not I said well it comes up with an interesting shape for the cow based on the scrap I said but you know Pablo Picasso had in his paintings a lot of things that were of an interesting shape for what they were supposed to be. I tell you, he was just one of those great old historical figures. See, I kind of think about how I learned about him in school. Just kind of had a lot of good character in him. A lot of things I learned, oh, for the good and for the better, and... I mean, there were just a lot of heroic people they taught us about when we were in schools, you know. And sometimes I say a little carving of mine can sometimes remind me of one of his paintings sometimes. And oh, the places in the world where people have been and where people have come out of, you know. And to think that. Mexico is just another country that is right here with in our continent and you know that there's so much we know in America these days and I keep seeing things that show in mysterious wonderful interesting ways and I say for this kind of work we have and do, I say that we're coming down to make the little cow just what it ought to be. And speaking of Pablo Picasso, I'll tell you about this little episode of Muppet Babies where they were kind of calling each other his name mixed with their own names, calling each other Pablo Picarmit and Pablo Pascuder and whatever other little names they had on that show. Sometimes it could be a little bit of a funny and interesting cartoon in its own ways in different little ways and all the things we kind of make of a little show and a little cartoon that kind of meant a little something back in the days and all and how we kind of saw that its own way make little times when 
we kind of come up with the little horns that make it a little good cow. I still remember my days of watching the old rodeos and how there was one time when one man was riding a bull and kind of got a little bucked around by it and luckily that particular bull didn't have any horns. So that was just the good thing about that particular one. I used to wish when I was younger that in all rodeos that bulls wouldn't have horns. Probably make it so they'd be safer all the time. Well, I say is for this, we kind of got one little thing to do and think we're going to do it, take it out on this other one as well. Probably a little soon for it this time around. Sometimes the second can be a little harder than the first. You achieve something the first time and you think you will the second time if you do it the same way and kind of gets a little bit of a little mess to do. Had somebody tell me today, I tell you I'm probably not the first one to come on and talk about random funny stuff while I'm doing my art. Probably one person who does it while they carve or so, but somebody told me today that Bob Ross did it while he painted. Never watched him much on TV, but would say that it was kind of an interesting thing to learn about him. I knew who he was from a lot of sources, but never really watched him much because I say people kind of can talk about different things while they do different things. I think I kind of chipped a little horn right here, so might as well just kind of come back around, take care of the other little horn the very same way, kind of remove the wood and I say it's crazy but we just chip that one completely off so well I tell you we can come up with another way to get little horns out of these probably just telling me that I should have just gone ahead and carved out the ears first because that's what I did on the first one, but we have our ways of doing things, make things come out like they ought to come to be. We see that this is just one little bit of work that makes its way along us and kind of come where we kind of got to put a little extra heat in our work, come down to where we see a good little set of horns come out for a good little cattle and I mean it was always a shame how these couldn't turn out so good for the best but we know that we, we have our ways to come up with ways to make up for our little careless mistakes here and there and finally just put a little thing in where we make the little horns come in kind of know that it's just a little work we do to kind of see how the cattle can be of one little thing after another to us and Whoa, whoa, I say, I say that just got a little way to do a good set of horns here. And I say that perhaps this comes a moment where we can probably carve out the ears underneath. I'd say that these ears may not come out as good as the first. We carved the horns first, which we weren't really supposed to do, but you see they're kind of chipped in ways, and we're going to kind of manage that along the way. It's a good thing we kind of make little works unique, because when things are all kind of carved by hand or made by hand and not made by a factory, they come out a little bit unique and a little bit different in ways, and 
show us just a little bit of power and soul in us to make us see how good a little work can be when we all just kind of accomplish the little things in life we all just want to have or want to do I say that this is just kind of the work that makes its way to us when we see a little thing or two we want to do in this carving it just kind of tells us that we've got a little grace to show and I think that this is coming out a little bit better this time around we're kind of getting things the way we want them to be and when it comes down to this there's also little places where we can kind of make little horns come out and kind of like um kind of put it so they're working a way in and so see how ears are making a way into the cattle so we see how this little bit of work shall conquer its way and be a little goodness and grace to us oh how the cow is going to be oh how it's going to turn out to be I say that kind of try to make these ears even with each other and try to see how this is going to make a little work come out and look to us when we all get done with a little thing or two and then see how we can sort of go up the horn and kind of make just one little line and down and back along the little ear to see that cows are making good ways to be in ventures to us I say and get little time that work goes in and put a little kind of line in and for one thing I say that there's another little place here along the back of the head where we put in a little line to make the other ear we're going to try to work along that as well and when you kind of do this on video like this you can kind of show how little errors and mistakes are going to happen and how we all just kind of have to watch out for each other what we do you know knives can be weaponry so that's kind of one reason we're careful what we do like I'd go to my Woodcarvers Guild meetings and when little presidential elections were coming up there'd be certain little things we discuss and I had a little we had a certain person in our group who said to us oh but we can't really talk about politics it's not a good subject for an open group with knives I say that we also kind of learn a lot from that as well and you know think that right now isn't too bad a time for it and you know we kind of here in Kentucky we got an election coming up in November for our governor we don't know who we're going to have just yet but it's like we're going to find out I say that this is just kind of how a little thing comes out in a basic little carving figure oh to work on this I say kind of place little workings in the little cow's horns go to the back of the little horns and make sure we get a little bit in almost kind of I'd say could in a way just look like some sort of strange type of shape but try to make it so it's going to get a little better 
make it a little times where we kind of put the work in and get the right words in and I say this little cow is going to be fine little work we do and oh put little shaving into its little ears and head and oh like tell y'all that this is just the type of thing we see on our lives you know make it so that cattle like this kind of try to keep it similar in ways but we failed in a few ways so kind of like I say probably got it a little too far to the center the second time around so make our way around that little edge I say that this is where we're going to try to make a quite similar face go in and I say probably just kind of shave away little little scraps I say and put a little work to the cow and kind of get rid of all the saw marks and saw lines and see how kids little cows are going to make a way out to where we're going to take them to be and so this is just the little work I say that we make for ourselves and probably to be on a market and somehow be sold we're going to try to see what we can interest other people in as far as what we make and what we do but this is how I've come along so far with the faces the horns and the ears so kind of get a little place in there put the little marky lines in see how little cattle are going to make a good way to see what we can do for the better or for the best I've kind of got little lines to make here to go along the side of the body where we kind of make the little cow where it's going to come its own little way kind of work away into it make the lines come along so they're going to be just good as the cow needs them to be and try to get as much work into the second as we've already put into the first I say and got a little place to go up at the top where we need to put in a little bit of more work and kind of make it so we see the cow just kind of being little things we see it to be and then shave everything away make it so we kind of got to equal out one horn and then finally come down to where we'll see just one more little line we have to make and to go into the head and so hopefully this will be the last we'll have to do in this face but I tell you I keep on chipping off too much and it's a disgrace but it's just gonna come away as good as it can be and finally got it about equal on each side so I say that this is a moment when we're probably going to carve in those little lines to make that little nose and see how part of it is going to turn out I say that this is a good little scrap 
I might have even talked about it one time like I was going to make boards out of them, but come up with a better idea sooner or later, and this is what the little idea has come to be. So, it's just kind of how work has made its way along and put in little good reasons to work in our lives and oh I say that this is just with a little extra help we do we come by to get the little bits of the end of the nose put right into the cow or the ox or the bull or whatever you want to call it and then finally get things to where they're evened out on both ends and then try to make it as good as possible as similar as you can on the sides and come up with this it's probably hard to tell how it came out on the video but hopefully I feel like I probably got a good enough work in it the way I could and made it so it just kind of turns out as what it's going to be for the better for the good for the long run cow knows it's just how we work all the time it's just screw it to all this stuff I say you know people to get where they kind of have a little tackiness now and then and so we finally worked our way into this kind of got the way to go about the horns so I think we've done enough for this video and think it's time to bring it to an end I appreciate you all coming on and watching hope you'll continue to watch for the future if you haven't yet, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to this channel, watch many more of my videos, see what you like, see what you learn, and hope it'll be plenty more for you to enjoy in the long run. Take care, and see you in the next video.